वर्क एंड एनर्जी पार्ट फाइव पॉवर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट पॉवर डू यू थिंक ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स डू देर वर्क एट द सेम रेट और ऑल द मशीन्स कंज्यूम एंड ट्रांसफर एनर्जी एट द सेम रेट द रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क वेरीज विद ऑल द इंडिविजुअल एंड डिफरेंट मशीन्स ऑल्सो वर्क एट डिफरेंट रेट्स Now let us have a look at a simple activity to understand how the rate of doing work varies for everyone. Suppose two athletes A and B decided to take part in a 100 meter race. Both are of the same age and have the same weight. A completed the race in 25 seconds. and b completed the race in 20 seconds what do you think is the work done by both a and b same work is done by both a and b but b takes less time than a to complete the same work who do you think did more work per second a stronger person can do a certain amount of work in a relatively less time similarly a more powerful car can cover more distance in a short period of time than a less powerful car these cars are classified according to their rate of doing work and power measures this rate at which work is being done thus power is defined as the rate of doing work or the rate of transfer of energy now let us look at the mathematical formula of power let the work done by an object be w in time t then power is equal to work upon time p is equal to w upon t the si unit of power is watt which is denoted as w the si unit is named watt to honor the scottish inventor james watt 1 watt is the power of an agent which does work at the rate of 1 joule per second 1 watt is equal to 1 joule upon 1 second 1 watt is equal to 1 joule per second bigger unit of power is kilowatt denoted as kw 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt which is equal to 1000 joule per second power may vary with time that is the rate of doing work may be different at different time intervals thus here the concept of average power becomes helpful average power is the total energy consumed divided by the total time taken remember we studied about energy and its units Now let us learn about the commercial unit of energy. As joule is not enough to measure the larger quantities of energy. The commercial unit of energy is kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt hour is the energy consumed in 1 hour at the rate of 1000 joule per second. 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 kilowatt multiplied by 1 hour which is equal to 1000 watts multiplied by 3600 seconds which is equal to 36 lakhs joule which is equal to 3.6 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 joule 
This unit is also used in our households. Let us take a simple example to understand the usage of the unit kilowatt hour. Take a look at the electricity meter in your house. Observe it closely. Take the readings of the meter at 6 am and 6 pm for a few days. How much energy is consumed by your family during the daytime and during the night time? In this video, we learned about power.